Hey, Shalom, Most High in Christ. Bless Israel. Welcome to another edition of 15 Minutes with the Captain. Uh, I'm Captain Zab, and to my left I have... Soldier Nice. All right, Israel. So today uh, we're going to talk about the next level of repentance, right? A lot of brothers and sisters come to me and they say, Hey, Cap, what's next? Man, I got fringes on. I'm keeping a Sabbath day. What do I do now? What you do now, Israel, is you get organized. You start writing things down. You get a plan together. You get a planner. You start utilizing your time and your moments in your day to the best of your ability. Let's see how you do that. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. The book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. Mm -hmm. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Mm. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So if you don't have a vision, Israel, you're going to perish. You got to have a vision. Well, how do you organize your vision? How do you organize a plan? You write things down. That's what you have to do. Come on, let's go to Habakkuk chapter 2. Verse 2. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 2. Mm -hmm. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision mm -hmm. and make it plain upon tables, mm -hmm. that he may run that readeth it. So part of what the Lord told Habakkuk to do was to write things down. So what? People can move in a certain direction and say, so he can run that readeth. It's saying that you can move with direction. When you have a plan, when you write things down, you know how to move from day to day. You know how to accomplish your task and accomplish the, the different things that you want to accomplish throughout the day. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. The book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. Yeah. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. Stop right there. So the Holy Spirit is disciplined. You got to discipline yourself, Israel. You got to discipline yourself and be more organized. Come on. And remove from thoughts that are without understanding. Mm -hmm. It will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in. So what happens from day to day is what brothers and sisters don't write things down. And then when unrighteousness come, they hadn't wrote out a plan. They forgot what they supposed to be doing. They hadn't wrote things down. They have no clue what they supposed to come. Because a lot of times what happens with Negroes and you Hispanics out there is guess what? Your day runs you instead of you running your day. You don't know where you supposed to be, what time you were supposed to be there. You lose track of time. You lose track of the things you were supposed to come. You got appointments and stuff. You forget them. Why? Because you won't write nothing down. <laughs> Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. Yeah. And thou shalt grope at noonday. What do we do? And thou shalt grope at noonday. Part of us groping at noonday is because we don't have any direction. We groping at noonday. Go ahead. As the blind gropeth in darkness, mm -hmm. and thou shalt not prosper in thy ways. We don't prosper in our ways, Israel, because we don't have a plan. Come on. And thou shalt be only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Us, part of us being oppressed and spoiled, we understand that, that we got oppressors out here. We get that. But you add on to that oppression by you not having any direction in your life. You add on to that oppression. Instead of you saying, you know what, let me get up a little earlier. Let me write some things down. Let me get together a vision, some things I want to accomplish throughout life, throughout the day, for my children, for my, for my spouse, for the body. Let me write some things down. But instead, we just move from day to day. We show up at the school. Oh, it was my turn to make unleavened bread. I forgot. Oh, I'm supposed to be bringing the camp signs. I forgot. You ain't wrote nothing down. Let's go to John chapter 10, verse 34. What you'll see when you're looking at this, Israel, is that the Lord had always wrote things. And he always had prophets. He always had people writing things down. You think it, you think if 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 nobody wrote nothing down, you wouldn't know that you wouldn't even know that you the Israelites. If nobody wrote nothing down, you wouldn't know what Christ looked like. Come on, John 10, 34. The book of John, chapter 10, verse 34. Mm -hmm. Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are God. You are God. You men are the children of God. You women are the daughters of God. That's who you are. Let's see how the people of God are supposed to move. Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 18. Royalty is who you are. Let's see how you're supposed to move. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 18. Yeah. And it shall be when he sitteth upon the throne of his kingdom mm -hmm. that he shall write him a copy of this law. What did we have to do? That he shall write him a copy of this law. We had to write out the whole Bible. That's part of being in rulership. You had to write things down so you can why. When you write things down, what happens is you remember to do those things. So the Lord had the kings and the, and the priests write out the Bible 
so they could what? Be knowledgeable of those things so they wouldn't forget when those things come to pass. It'll be written in your mind when you write things down. You won't forget. But people say, you know what? I'm just going to put it in my phone. I'm just going to type it out on my computer. Come on. Let's go to Psalms 45 and 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 45, verse 1. The book of Psalms, chapter 45 and verse 1. Yeah. My heart is indicting a good matter. So he said his heart is indicting a good matter. That means to write. Indicting means to write things down. Read it again. My heart is indicting a good matter. Uh huh. I speak of the things which I have made touching the king. Mm -hmm. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. So what you're supposed to do, Israel, what they did is back here in the book of Psalms, they wrote things down. You wouldn't have no prophecies if nobody ever wrote nothing down, Israel. Let's go to Malachi 3, verse 16. You wouldn't have no prophecies. You wouldn't know you the Israelites. You wouldn't know what Christ looked like. You wouldn't know the manner of what marriage looks like. You wouldn't know none of that. Come on. The book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. Uh-huh. And the Lord hearkened. The Lord was listening. And heard it. Uh-huh. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord. So if the Lord is writing down things, the angels of the Lord are writing down things, but you too good to write down things, though. That's why you're unorganized. That's why you're oppressed. That's why you have no vision. That's why we perish, because we don't write things down. Let's move to Sirach 42, verse 7. The book of Sirach, chapter 42, and verse 7. Yeah. Deliver all things in number and weight, and put all in put write. What? Put put all in writing. Put all in writing, Israel. You're supposed to write things down. The Lord, I keep, I keep, we keep going back to this because I want you, brothers and sisters, to understand to move to the next level, to be more disciplined, to be more organized. You should be writing things down. Revelation chapter twenty, verse twelve. Again, let's see what the Lord is doing. Let's see how the Lord is moving. Let's see what's happening. The book of Revelations, chapter 20 and verse 12. Yeah. And I saw the dead, small and great, uh -huh. stand before God. They was all standing before God. Go ahead. And the books were open. The what was open? And the books were open. The hard drives was open. And the books were open. The iPads was open. And the books were open. You know what? The Lord is the Lord, so he got a cloud. He stored it all in the cloud, and then he downloaded it, and then that's how he's going to judge brothers and sisters. And the books we're open. The Lord wrote down things. He understands that. Writing down things means those things will maintain and be kept. You can store them up. So I, I'm not saying things don't get burnt. Things get burnt. It could be. We read before. We know during the time of Babylon, some of the books was burnt up. But the Lord didn't say, you know what? Since the books was, was burnt up, we're going to switch to uh to a hard drive system now. We're going to switch to uh, using tablets now. No. He said, write it down, Ezra. That's what he told him to do. Let's go to the book of Exodus, chapter 31, verse 18. Again, let's see what the Lord is doing. He should be our example. Exodus 31, verse 18. The book of Exodus, chapter 31, and verse 18. Yeah. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai. Uh -huh. Two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. So if Moses would have wrote, would have typed all this out, out in the desert, what would have happened to those those computers, to those hard drives? The sand would have been all in it. It would have got destroyed. But the Lord said, write it down. The Lord wrote it down for him. The Lord wrote it. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 14. So you brothers and sisters, man, you, you brothers and sisters that use computers and use tablets and phones, I'm not saying that you shouldn't and it's not okay to use those things, but it's better to write them. It's better to write out your notes. It's better to write in a planner. It's better to do those things. Why? Because it's going to lock in there better. The Lord is doing that. You don't think he knew that this stuff was going to be invented back then? He knew all of this. This ain't new to him, but he still had people and prophets write it down. Hebrews, let's go. The book of Hebrews, chapter 4, verse 14. Yeah. Seeing then that we have a great high priest. Mm-hmm. That is passed into the heavens. So we're talking about Christ, the great high priest. Go ahead. Jesus, the son of God. Uh -huh. Let us hold fast our profession. So our profession, to be, to have a profession would mean that we would be professional. Right? Professionals write things down. Professionals are organized. Professionals have a plan, have a vision. Right? Let's go to Luke chapter 2, verse 49. 
The book of Luke, chapter 2 and verse 49. Yeah. And he said unto them, How is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? So he had to be about his father's business, meaning what? He was professional. He was on his game. He did what he had to do. Christ had a plan. He had a vision, and those things was written in the scriptures. When he read in Isa when he read Isaiah, right? When you read in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 7, get that. Christ was professional. He had to be about his father's business. Let's look at that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 7. Yeah. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. You see that? Christ came in the volume of the book. He didn't come in the volume of the iPad. He didn't come in the volume of the cloud. Right? He came in the cloud, but he wasn't talking about that cloud. You know what I'm saying? Read that again. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. Uh-huh. It is written of me. It is what? It is written of me. He, somebody wrote it down. Isaiah wrote it down. Moses wrote it down. Ezra wrote it down. David wrote it down. It was written about Christ. Without somebody writing down these things, we wouldn't know up from down, east from west, right? Let's go to Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. The book of Proverbs chapter 22, verse 29. Yeah. See is that a man diligent in his business. So Christ was a man diligent in his business. And I'm telling you, brothers, I'm telling you, sisters, we're supposed to be following his example, right? And he was a man about his business. He was a man that held on to his profession. He was able to look in the scriptures and make sure that he did the things that his father had wrote down for him to do. Read that again. See is that a man diligent in his business? Uh-huh. He shall stand before king. If you write down things, if you diligent in your business, if you're a professional, guess what? You're going to stand before kings. But a lot of times, again, this take me down a whole nother path, but a lot of times what happens is we can't get figure out what's going on at work, why we're having problems with life, why we're having problems not accomplishing the things we want to accomplish, because we're not diligent with our business. How do you be more diligent when your business is real? You write things down. You have a plan. You get organized. Hebrews 10.23. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 23. Mm -hmm. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith. So let us hold on to the profession of our faith. We're supposed to be professional with our faith, Israel. We're supposed to make sure that we are writing things down. We are organized. We are looking ahead. We are putting together foresights and visions for things we want to accomplish in the future because we are building the Most High's army. So with that, Israel, I say shalom. Most High Christ bless. Shalom. Most High Christ bless. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.